I just remember going in there and it was like, you know, the, your typical hole in the wall kind of place, you know, where you had a terrazzo floor and you had a single light bulb hanging from a wire in the ceiling, you know, and the service was basically, uh, you know, like Spadina House, if you remember those days where you sat down and you, and you, you had your few glasses of draft. But, but the entertainment was always great, you know, and you always had that opportunity if you wanted to, to get up and jam and, uh, and saw, you know, great bands uh, the day there, like Thundermug, you know, it comes to mind. Just remember having such a great time, so many people having such a great time there, and it was just kind of typical of that, what David Wilcox would have called a, a cheap beer joint on the wrong side of town, mm -hmm. you know. It has that appeal, you know, where you could have a toke out back, you know, yeah. with a bouncer named Jack, as uh, Mr. Wilcox would have said. Uh, the Blue Spruce was another one of these places, you know, that uh, you know, we've lost, and uh, the Belmont, you know. So it's, it's kind of a, a, a dying breed, in a sense, something that a lot of people hold dear to their, to their heart, I think, at least in my age group. Thank <laughs> you.